Few developers lived up to their aesthetic promises, however. Towns devoid of trees and parks and streets laid out like grid work came to rule the landscape. In contrast, Whittier and Green enlisted the services of a nationally known landscape architect, and a master plan for the city of Beverly Hills was drawn up. Broad, curving avenues were planted with trees, and across from the Pacific Electric Tram Station, an exotic park was built to welcome new arrivals. Unfortunately, lot sales were disappointing. By 1910, with only six homes built north of Santa Monica Boulevard, it became apparent that the city wasn't getting the publicity it needed. In an attempt to lure people to the fledgling city, the Rodeo Land and Water Company built a grand hotel and commissioned Southern California's premier hotelier, Margaret Anderson, to run it. The Beverly Hills Hotel was an immediate success. With the hotel as its core, Beverly Hills began its rise into the unique and prestigious community it is today. In 1915, Max began construction of a family home overlooking Sunset Boulevard. The outside was sort of a pinkish Italian villa, I guess you'd call it. And uh, mother went up to San Francisco. See, they had the World's Fair in 1915, and a lot of the furniture was brought over there on the exhibit for the World's Fair. And I guess they figured they'd rather sell it over here than take it back and take a chance on having the ship sunk or something. Because she bought some beautiful oriental rugs and... The, all that furniture in the, in the house was mostly wonderful hand-carved Italian furniture, beautiful stuff. Oh, he seemed to enjoy it. I think he enjoyed bringing his family out from, from Maine very much, enjoyed having them out. I think anybody would enjoy being successful when you come from a, with a bunch of people that were living from hand to mouth by what they could raise, you know, potatoes and stuff. <laughs> We had a little trouble controlling us kids sometimes, but uh, we, had, we had a lot of room to wander around. You had to keep moving, doing something. If you were doing something, that was fine. And he wasn't fussy about what it was, but it was constructive. <laughs> 